have been a relief to hand over this whole mess to the bastard of the barrel. But it's just in his head, by the way. Yeah. No way, finally reading vlog. <laughs> Something I should mention right from the beginning, I'm in a reading slump, like a massive one, for two and a half weeks. Haven't touched a single book, but I'm really, really excited about this duology that we're gonna read in this video. I simply have my hopes on Nikolai Lansov to heal my reading slump. haven't watched my Shadow and Bone season 2 reactions, you might not know that I'm a big fan of Six of Crows. Basically, all of the characters are some of my favorite ones ever. When I got to Nina's chapter, like, come on, but Mercy was a luxury Matthias could afford. He was dead after all. And the way they carry his body with them, for months and months maybe, all over Fjerda. This basically breaks my heart over again. Ravka was his first love. Whatever he demanded, he knew he would give. He'd been reckless with this country he claimed to love, and he could no longer let his fear dictate Ravka's future. I mean, finally, someone wants something good for Ravka. And he, he, he's a perfect kin, honestly. His intentions are so pure. But I'm not gonna lie, I checked some spoilers. I love to go to like, you know, Vicky fandom and stuff and check characters' profiles. He says that he's a former king of Ravka. This is the cult of the Starless Saint. They worship the Darkling. I don't know, I love, love, love the crossovers, connections, and books, and this basically, yeah, like a continuation to the other two series, but like the way it mentions the Six of Crows characters and little details, like Dunasha was killed by who we don't know, but we know it was Inesh. I know it's weird, why am I so surprised about it? Because it's the continuation of both of the other series. This is why I love this show so much, because the connections between the characters that never even met in the books. Last night, I exited the video on Nina Berry's Matthias. It was unbearable to read, it was so painful. Then I came back to reading, read a couple more chapters, and then Nina meets Matthias's wolf, and he saves her. And at this moment, I was like, okay, I'm done. No, thank you. I'm just gonna go and sleep. So today, we'll try first not to cry second finish kin of scars because honestly i really want to switch to my hardcover of rule of wolves i just kind of want to hold the book you know oh actually i have to repot some of my plans because it's springtime and a lot of my plants actually need a new home because they grew out of their old ones and i also have an audiobook for kin of scars so i guess we're gonna combine these two doings together but for now, I need a really good coffee and Nina to be a little bit happier. We should send him to Ketterdam to preach to Kosbracker and the rest of the reprobates, suggested Zoya. Nikolai winced. He'd certainly get his... Matterdom? Matterdom? Martyrdom. Matterdom. Okay. I saw every single time I get to see a familiar name from Six of Crows, I squeak and I highlight. I can't get it wrong. <coughs> Especially when I get Cus Brecker's name, because you probably should know this. He's my new character crush. Such a perfect morally gray mastermind character. He did it because he liked learning the puzzle of each person. He did it because it felt good to feel his influence and understanding grow. 
But above all this, he did it because he knew he needed to rescue his country. Nikolai gives such a perfect mirable character. If you know, you know, I hope we all are Swiftis here and we know that Mirable is a son from Folklore, one of the best albums ever. He's just so easy to root for and I love him for this. Grisha is a magic part of this universe and all the structure, but sometimes the magic -y part, like all the magical creatures and sayings and just some stuff are really confusing. I guess this is why I love Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom so much because they are not so heavy on magic, more like on a Grisha and just like really mundane fantasy moments. I guess I'm just so confused. What's going on? Help your girl out. I'm so confused. Oh my god, guys. I guess I got the bee easter egg from season two. Instead, he saw bees, a vast swath of them moving through a sky the color of porridge, shifting and clustering into what might have been the shape of a woman. What is going on? But I'm so happy. It's so good. I'm just so happy that I got this B moment from the show. <laughs> but if the mothers were in Justin Perem, the babies would be too. They would be born addicted to the stuff. Perfect Grisha slaves. This is unbelievably disgusting. But as a plot twist, I absolutely love it. No mourners, she whispered and lunged herself through the broken glass. It's you crying, not me. She's still a crow no matter what. Yes, I am obsessed with crows. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, it's time to go and repot some of my green babies. But first, I really wanted to show you something really excited. It's not book related, but it's super cute. These, I hope you can see them, are my little tomato plants. I really want, hopefully, to grow some tomatoes inside of my apartment because I live in an apartment without even an open balcony. So I'll try to grow something on my windowsill. Really, really hope that these are gonna grow and I'm gonna fruit and I'll get some cherry tomatoes eventually this summer. So I definitely gonna update you on these in future videos. Even if you're not interested, I'm still gonna update you because I'm interested, super, super, super interested. And I just want to see them grow with time or I want to see myself fail growing them. Brecker taught Nina so good because she's actually arranges her own heist in Fjorda to save all of the girls and I'm proud. <laughs> I mean so much is going on right now like Elisabetta is a traitor she wants the darkling back and Zoya she's now a dragon like the dragon was with her and they would fight Is the B scene from season two is an Easter egg to the fact that Elisabetta stole the Darkling's body? Because the B scene is also a scene of the Darkling's fire. So the B was a sign of her presence there. I love it. This is so interesting. Okay, I lay down for a hot second because my back hurts so badly after repotting my plants. I'm a really old lady. So now I literally have like a couple pages and a little bit of tea left. So we're gonna finish all of it. <laughs> so many of my old friends gathered in one place, said the darkling from the mouth of a loyal Galba boy, another fool who had loved him. 
It's good to be home. I mean, I would prefer a new villain, not the Dark Lane, coming back. But that was definitely unexpected. Okay, we finished King of Scars. It was good, not gonna lie. I'm definitely more into this duology than Shadow and Bone trilogy, but it's definitely not gonna top Six of Crows. Nothing's gonna top Six of Crows. I mean like a solid four stars, I think. And I kind of don't want to talk anymore. I want to go and watch Prom Pact because all of my For You page on TikTok is all about this movie. I don't want to know. Yeah, good night and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay guys, good morning. Today's an amazing morning. It's warm outside, it's sunny. It's the first actual day of spring, I think, in a year. I'm super excited about the weather. And uh, we are starting today with the book unboxing. It's probably gonna be the prettiest book on my shelves. Let's unbox it. Honestly, I'm so excited. Okay, who goes first, me or you? You go. Like, it's a huge book. It's a format of it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, smells like a new book. Which is... Wow, it, it has like a silverish hue to it. I thought it's going to be just gray, but it's like silver. Are we ready to check under the dust jacket? It's... I think it's just my second book with the dash jacket. My first one is, you can see it right here, turtles all the way down. But under the dash jacket, it's nothing even close to this. Now my only question, if we should go out, like to get coffee and read outside, because it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and warm and everything that I love. I wish you guys to be here to help me out with this because like I don't know if I want to get out of my house. diet coke for myself i really hated the aftertaste but now i'm kind of addicted don't ask me why i'm not updating i have no idea i'm just really into the reading and i think we'll go through my tabs a little if i have something like to read out loud i'll read it to you so far nina's chapters are my favorite for sure and she had learned the practice of deception from cas bracker himself and there was no greater teacher I already told you, Cus Bracker is one of my absolute favorite characters. I love him so much. And every single time he mentioned in these books, uh, I feel so good. <laughs> okay, so far, this is probably the funniest moment of this week. As far as I know, I've worked no miracles, nor claimed to. Zoe's eyes narrowed. She knew exactly who to blame for this. Damn Nina Zedek. And the next chapter is Nikolai's, and it starts with Bless Nina Zenik. <laughs> we all love Nina Zenik. <laughs> Saints, it would have been a relief to hand over this whole mess to the bastard of the barrel. You can call it Rhea and her obsession with crows. Definitely. And now I really feel like, yeah, I want to go and get a good coffee and sit outside and read. Finally, I can do this again. This is amazing. I can't wait for the summer and all of the reading vlogs outside and it just starting here it's starting now don't you dare look out your window darling everything's going fine the war outside our door keeps raging on
it's time for an update. I'm 143 pages into the book and I'm still waiting for the romance. Not me telling you that I want some romance and here we go, like just a couple of pages into the book. But he's my demon, not the darklings, Nikolai said. He held his hand out to her, scarred beneath the gloves he wore. Don't be afraid, finally. Was it the monster touching her or was it her king? Was there a difference anymore? This book just started playing with my feelings like hard. A king with a demon inside him, a monk with a darkling inside him, a general with a dragon inside her. I mean, I'm sitting here absolutely like, eating this book up. It's just so good. It's so entertaining. Maybe I'm just like in a good reading mood. I'm enjoying myself. This is all that matters. Like, wipe your feet, Alina said. He's still at the sound of her voice, then obeyed. Him and Alina again in the same room, very much entertaining. And apparently it was a big mistake. <clears throat> you know how I say that Kaz Brecker is like the best mastermind character for me? You know what? Nikolai probably the second best one. I'm so impressed with his mastermind plans. How he plays the Shuhan queen and brings her to Rafka for the wedding. And she expects to see her sister, but her sister is on her way to Shuhan. Like, it's just such a wonderful plan. Luckily for me, I was ready for David's death. Like, you know, after the show and uh, all the comments, I knew he's gonna die in this series. This is why I love spoilers. This one saved me from one crying session. You know what pisses me off with this book? It's beautiful, everything about it is just perfect, but it's a hard cover, but the spine is glued to the pages. So I can't really open the book fully. I don't want to bend it. I feel like I've been played, like I feel so mad about it. Are we going to get it up? Don't tell me they go into get it and buy themselves, like without any inner help. I got my romance. Because I'm greedy for the sight of you, because the prospect of facing this war, this loss, without you fills me with fear. Because I find I don't want to fight for a future if I can't find a way to make a future with you. But it's just in his head, by the way. Yeah. You know. It's like a very slow burn. Like, the slowest. Has Brecker wet the putty from his face and ran a gloved hand through his dark hair. It's like the best surprise ever. I'm so happy that no one spoiled me this. Jasper and Wylan in their rich as house, happy together. You have no idea how happy I am right now. But I have to say, it feels kind of wrong that there are only like three of them left in Catadown. And they don't even do any any deals together you can tell because like they're we really want to have like a normal life we don't really want to do anything illegal one day your luck will run out mr brecker then i'll just have to make some more tell me brecker do you believe in monsters of all kinds prepare to meet another Again and again, the in-between serious characters' interactions, the best thing ever about this whole universe. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna spoil anything, hopefully, but I'm super excited for this to happen to Sarah J. Mass's books as well, super soon. It's gonna be mind-blowing. I would make you my queen because I want you. I want you all the time. Should I react to this? We are getting it. I will be by your side. As my advisor, if that's what you wish. Of course it's not what she wishes. And if if I wished for more, it took them more than 1,000 pages. Kiss me, Zoya, he said. Why? I need reassurance that you are real and that we survive. No 
one prepared me for the last sentence of this book. Get message to the Crow Club, she said. Tell Cus Brecker the Queen of Ravka has a job for him. I'm not gonna cry over this. Shut up. Just tell me that this leads to the third book in the Six of Crows. Like I mean. Okay. I took a little moment to gather myself together to talk about what we just finished. I mean, King of Scars duology. The first thing that I should mention is that I'm out of my reading slump officially. So thank you, Nikolai Zornina, all the other characters. I have a whole list of things that I wanted to mention at the end of this video, so buckle up. So the first thing in here is character building, especially Nikolai's and Zoya's. It's like really high up. I knew that I'd love Nikolai. I started reading all of this because of him, like because of him in the show and in the second book of Shadow and Bone. I haven't finished the third one. One, so I don't know but like I knew that like Nikolai is my fave but Zoya it was questionable but I love 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 them both in this duology and of course Nina our third main character I'm so glad that she got her own closure that she was able to say her proper goodbyes to Matthias and her storyline in this duology is crazy hear me out the crows I mean I knew that I'm getting some kind of reminders of them in the first book by the comments under like my reactions and stuff where I said that I want to read King of Scars but my holy grounds I was so happy to see Kaz and Jasper and Wylan in Nash at the end of this book I just always need more crows every single day of my life I need them all and now I have to remind myself that I read Six of Crows only after like six or seven months being on my shelf but at least now I'm obsessed and I love it so much. I also really love how Lee writes humor in her books. Like, I actually giggle, which is like super rare with humor in the books. I'm just like, okay, like stone faced, you know? I mean, I love a good stop. I need to tell my jokes to these readers so they can take a little breath moment and i know that there is a page on goodreads for the third book of six of crows so is it official like just tell me yeah i i need hope i need more crows you know it's like a solid 4.5 for both of these books it's definitely like an amazing addition to the whole grishaver story shout out to some of you guys who recommended me to read king of scars duology i had such an amazing time reading these books so thank you i hope you had a good time watching this video it's probably gonna be super long so yeah Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Have the best the rest of your day, as always, and I hope I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!